Okay, welcome boys and girls. Today we're gonna practice our four times table through skip counting. Get ready to sing along. Remember that by the end of third grade, you are expected to know all of your multiplication facts one through nine. Today, we will focus on skip counting as one of many strategies to practice our four times table. With this strategy, we will be using our fingers to guide us along in finding the product of two factors. We will assign each finger a number counting from left to right. As we can see in this picture, the pinky on the left is one, ring finger two, middle finger three, pointer finger four, thumb five, thumb on the right six, followed by seven, eight, nine, and 10. Keep in mind that since this skip counting song focuses on factors one through nine only, we won't be using the 10th pinky finger. Okay, boys and girls, now it's time to learn the song. I have included the multiplication chart so that you can follow along as I model for you how to sing the skip counting song. But pay close attention because you will not be able to have access to it each time. So make sure to pause and replay this section as often as possible until you're comfortable with it. All right, now, are you ready? But remember, like all good singers, we have to clear our throat. <clears> throat> la, 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 la. I think we're ready to begin. Four, eight. 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, that's it. Yahoo! All right, that wasn't too bad, now was it? You may have noticed as I was singing, I paused slightly when I said 16 and 24. So remember, there's a slight pause after 16 and 24. Let's sing it again. Four, eight. 12, 16, hold, 20, 24, hold longer, 28, 32, 36, that's it, yahoo! I know y'all like that part. <laughs> okay, don't worry, it takes repeated practice, but once you've learned it, you'll see how it helps you with your four time tables facts. So let's try it out. For the first problem, I will model for you how to use the skip counting song to solve for four times seven. Since I'm multiplying four times seven, I have to remember that as I sing, I will stop once I reach the seventh finger. So follow along as I sing. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. I'll stop here at 28 since it's my seventh finger. So therefore I know that four times seven equals 28. Ready for another problem? This time, try singing along with me to solve four, four times three. Let's begin. Since we're multiplying four times three, we have to stop at our what? Third finger. So let's begin singing. Four, eight, 12. Since I reached my third finger and I said 12 last, I know that four times three equals 12. Time to solve another one together. This time we'll solve four, Four times six. Remember, we'll be stopping at our sixth finger. And once we land on our sixth finger, that's the product. Let's begin. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. I'll stop. Since I stopped at my sixth finger and I said 24 last, then I know that four times six is 24. Got it? Now it's your turn to try. Now this time, you'll try to solve for the product of four times four. Keep in mind what finger you should stop on. Did you get it right? Let's check and see. Four, eight, 12, 16. Did you get 16? If you did, good job. Since I landed on my fourth finger, I know that four times four equals 16. You did it. Now we have another problem for you to solve. Four times eight. Now by this time, you should know what finger to stop on. And once you reach that finger, you have your product, so try it out. Did you get it? Well, let's check. Let's sing. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. I reached my eighth finger and I said 32 last. Therefore, I know that four times eight equals 32. I'm sure you did well. So now let's finish this off with a good review. Let's sing along. One last time before we end. Four, eight, 12, 16, 
2024, 28, 32, 36. That's it. Yahoo! Okay, boys and girls, until next time, take care.